Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna do a video out here in the woods. Um, I'm kind of by my apartment, so there's kind of some road noise in the back. Um, I'm hoping that the new mic that I got will cut some of that out, cut out the wind, all that stuff. Um, what I'm working, what we're gonna be talking about today is Sniper Blade Works. I mean, you guys have seen this knife, the, the DMF. This is my custom that I got on trade for my old Strider. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about that, but I just got the new production. So we're gonna talk about both of those. So hang tight. So I've got the, I joined Battlebox, um, and the sniper, the knife of the month this month was the Sniper Blade Works DMF, but it's the production version. It's their first production folder. So it comes in this nice case with the logo, the Sniper Blade Works logo. Kind of see it. I think you guys can see it all right. And so let's open it up. So it comes, the case is nice. It's got a mesh little thing here to throw extra accessories with. Um, the knife itself comes in a baggie and then some nice foam Pretty cool. So this is the knife. It is uh, 1095 blade steel. It's got the carbon fiber inlay. I don't know if this is titanium or if it's like a steel um, the Knife feels pretty heavy, but I'm comparing it to my G10 DMF, so I don't know if it's titanium or, or what I sent a message to Lance today, but he hasn't gotten back to me. So it's got a nice sculpted clip. Um, kind of see it there. Uh, and yeah, it's the big framework, frame lock, uh, DMF. So uh, it's got the thumb hole to open it. Sorry guys, I'm left-handed, so you know how that goes. Uh, it's got a nice grind, little little kind of uh, like a dual grind here. So it's got the main grind for the belly and then this part is a slightly different angle. Um, it's got the stone washed blade and again 1095 lockup is good from the factory. I actually don't remember who did the production uh, run of this but um, very, I mean it's very similar to my custom but it's got a nice choil here in the blade for your finger that may, lets you choke up and a nice angle here for your thumb. Your thumb just fits right in there and it wants to fit there. I have smaller hands so this up here is not as useful but for those of you with big hands that is going to be really nice to be able to really choke up. So yeah, it, it fits nice in hand. I wanted to compare the custom uh, DMF with the production um, and kind of show you guys the differences. This is kind of, you know, they're about the same size. Um, this one does have that like extra grind thing on the blade, but for the most part, uh, the edge, the usable edge is about the same. Um, this obviously has the Hamon, the, the Custom has a Hamon. It's got the inlays in the G10, um, just like this has inlays. For the most part, they're, they're, they're very similar. Like they, they're both feel about the same. Um, you can choke up on the Custom just like you can on the production here. So just, just pretty much the same. The, the shapes are virtually identical. So, um, if you're thinking, if you've been wanting to get a Sniper Blade Works folder, a, a DMF um, specifically, but even if you're looking at the DH or the LPC or something else like that, this is a very, like, it's a very nice production knife. I'm not seeing really any problems with it as far as um, build quality or, uh, I mean, obviously the materials might be lacking a little bit, they feel, I mean, 
the custom is like quite a bit wider. The, the blade steel and both uh, frame pieces are quite a bit wider. So it's definitely a heavier knife because of that. But this one feels pretty heavy in the handle for having this carbon fiber inlay and this like G10 uh, backspacer. That is one thing that I didn't point out, is this has a backspacer, the custom is standoffs. Um, so I've got to wait to hear from Lance on whether or not this is titanium or not. I'm kind of feeling like it might be steel, um, which would be a bit of a bummer at the price point. The price point, like the MSRP on this is about 180 or 190 I think. So that's probably what, they might be a little bit cheaper on like Blade HQ or whatever. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now. But this is six to $700, which, you know, you're, you're saving quite a bit by doing this. So, like, from that standpoint, this is definitely worth it. Um, this is, like, the same quality as, like, a ZT or something like that, in my opinion. And, um, and it's the sweet Sniper Blade Works blade shape. You're, you're supporting Sniper Blade Works, which I've talked about in other videos about how much I love them. They're, they're just a great company great guys to work with that to me is a reason to to pick this up i'm probably going to pick another one up i think this is going to end up being a gift to a friend i will be probably picking up another one and i'm kind of hoping that there's going to be some other like options for the handles and stuff that'd be cool um, i'm also going to be talking to lance and them about doing another custom that's my spec built specifically for me not second hand like all my others and get me the third uh, style that they have so we will catch you guys in the next video please like comment subscribe all that stuff let me know what you guys think uh, this is very cool to me um, and I, I if any of you guys any of the other guys watch have gotten battle boxes and gotten this let me know what you think of it um, and guys let me know if you want to see more stuff like this I mean this is what the channel is about knives so um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, um, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.